So this is part two of my custom plover tank Lego build. Um, it's just part two of the tutorial. It's pretty self-explanatory, like I mentioned in the other episode. It, this uh, voiceover doesn't really need much of an explanation because most of that was done in the actual plover video. Um, I did uh, go over a couple little uh, accessories and kind of how I put them on at the end of this video, though, so stay tuned for that. Um, I did want to mention, though, I was um, I'm kind of on the on the hook for suggestions. If anyone um, has any interest in suggesting something that they'd like to see me build. Um, but I also did want to ask, and I've asked this before, but I'm curious to see what people's opinion is on my, my custom tank here. And if they'd want to see more custom tanks, I'm not necessarily sure if that dictates how I will actually run my YouTube channel, but I'm curious to see what people like to see and what they enjoy watching. Um, mini shout out to my viewers who um, have bothered to comment and uh, be a part of my little process. It's uh, pretty humbling for me. So um, that's that's really cool. And I just wanted to mention that. Um, but yeah, this, this voiceover doesn't need much explanation. So I will um, let the building just happen.
So lastly here, I kind of wanted to mention some parts that are not part of the actual tank, but um, are kind of some fun features that I included um, just to kind of just make a record of them. So I have this fuel tank, which is just um, some, some round pieces stacked. It's pretty straightforward. I have this boat hook, which is a minifigure hand, a T-pole, and then Technic pin, and a, a long wand bar. I have the unditching bar, which is just pretty much just stacked um, one by ones with um, this piece right here so that it will pin it into place. And then some other things that are just pieces that aren't even, um, don't even require building of any kind. Uh, my camouflage rig is just um, these little seaweed colored pieces with wrenches on them. And they're pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanted to make a note of them here so that I can remember them and make them correctly if I have to rebuild this. Also, here are the treads. Um, there are 44 for each side of the tank. So I believe that's 88 collectively. Um, and I counted them twice, so it should be 44, but don't, don't quote me on that. And here is the finished tank with all of the features on it, including all the little, uh, the tools and such and the camouflage rig. Um, if people are curious about where the idea for this tank, uh, came from or kind of how I put it together as far as, um, the I idea portion of it went, I do have a video on it. So feel free to check that out. But as far as this video goes, uh, it's all done.